But he didn't die because I was a sinner. He died because I was a lost son. Are you kidding me? Even though I don't want to do the things, I'm doing them anyway because I'm bipolar. The first power and love, the second power and love school that we did, another one, I was, I was preaching, and I, I mean, I'm brand new, just like saved, happy, on fire, burning with Jesus, believe that I've become Jesus, who knew no sin, 2 Corinthians 5, verse 24, who knew no sin, became sin, so that I might become something. I might become the righteousness of God, right here, flawless in the eyes of the Father. Jesus, who knew no sin, became sin so that I might become the righteousness of God that is in Christ Jesus. So I have not attained my own righteousness. I have become the righteousness of God that is in Christ Jesus. I have become that. That's the truth. Like, I've become it. And people will try to talk you out of it your whole life. They will say, well, you know, Paul had a sin issue. Paul was, even though I don't want to do the things that I'm supposed to do, I do the things I know not to do. And just all that Romans 6 confusion. If you look at Romans 6, it's sandwiched in between Romans 5, Romans 6, Romans 7 is where it says, if I don't want to do the thing, I don't want to do these things, I still do them. And all that stuff, it sounds like, bipolar Christianity it is Romans 5 says I've been justified by faith I have peace with God I've been declared fault flawless in the eyes of the father it's amazing yay I have peace with the father Romans 6 says I'm dead crucified buried with him in baptism I'm dead I'm dead I'm dead I'm dead I'm dead reckon yourself dead to sin and alive unto God dead Romans 7 says you know even though I don't want to do the things, I'm doing them anyway, because I'm bipolar. People hear Romans and they're like, oh yeah, Romans 7. Yeah, Paul, he didn't want to do it and he did it. That's just like me. No, don't compare yourself to somebody that's trying to live according to the law, because you can. Even though I don't want to do the things, I'm doing them anyway, because I'm bipolar. I'm not making fun of bipolar, it can be delivered. But you are not supposed to be a person that's like spirit and flesh, oh, yes, stop it. That's not Christianity. It's not. We've been taught that our whole life because we don't get into intimacy with God and see the scripture. The Holy Ghost doesn't say, you know what, your eyes causing you to sin, gouge it out. So you literally pull that thing out and throw it. If your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. So you cut your hand off. I'm not going to steal. Yeah, you will. You got another one. This thing needs fixed so that these things don't do that. So I go in my bedroom and seek God in the secret place, man. He just, he would just show me. He would just, I'd just read and he'd go, there you go. Wow, oh man, wow God, this is amazing. And those things that used to call my name don't call my name anymore. I mean, they were cut off like, like he cut off, if you know, if your hand causes you to sin, he cut me off, period, like, like serious, like there's nothing in me to cause me to sin anymore. You should stop bragging. It'll just make it more embarrassing. People are like, well, you can't be free until Jesus comes back. If that's true, then death is now my savior. Death isn't my savior. When I die, I'm not finally free. Are you kidding me? That's not the gospel. Death, where is your sting? Come on. 
Where's your victory? I'm going to be with Jesus. To live is Christ and to die is gain. He cut me off, period. Like, ah. Like, serious. Like, there's nothing in me to cause me to sin anymore. Now, when I die, it's gain. I'm going to go be with him. But until then, I'm going to destroy hell for a living. And I'm going to take the hellish thinking out of Christians. So that they can finally look in the mirror and say, wow, I see you in there. I'm just going to honor the master in everything I do. What, am I, what? Jesus is the king of kings? Did you call me a king? Thank you, Father. That's not arrogance. That's the Bible. Oh my gosh, someone's getting rocked today. You're not supposed to be like any other Christian. You're supposed to be like Jesus. And actually, it's Christian. Wow, Jesus. Are you, are you serious? I don't got to do anything? Just believe? Oh God, you're so good. The day that you think you have it figured out is the day you start going downhill. You cannot think that you have it all figured out. Three and a half months, three and a half days, three and a half years, it's not the answer. Every day, pressing in every day, making sure that every day is another day that you get to grow in him and learn and exactly how God's gonna handle things. This whole, this whole training center, the reason why we have it is to establish a breed of Christian that would know who they are and whose they are. There's no other purpose of the ministry. The purpose of the ministry is to establish identity and who we are as sons and daughters and who our father is as a good, good father. God is good all the time. But you can't think that he's good all the time if you keep listening to the enemy tell you who you're not when God is trying to tell you who you are. My whole life growing up, I was told that Jesus died on the cross because I was a sinner. And it left me a forgiven sinner. Nobody ever told me that he died on the cross to restore my purpose and potential and destiny. That he actually died on the cross because he saw great value in what I could be when he lived inside of me. Of course he had to die because I sinned. But he didn't die because I was a sinner. He died because I was a lost son. See, the cross doesn't expose your sin. It removes your sin to expose your potential and your value. If this isn't priority and this isn't something that you capture, you will constantly be condemned, guilty, ashamed, and live in regret. We've preached that you have to have a dual nature. It's not in there. It's not. We've preached that you have to have a dual nature. It's not in there. It's not. Are you kidding me?